from India. I work in Afghanistan. I heard about this conference through friends and I applied for it. Um, somebody shared a link and that's how I found it. And I was like, wow, it's in India. So it made me very happy and proud that, you know, I've been to conferences abroad and this would be a good opportunity to, you know, uh, come to India and actually represent, you know, or show, represent my own country and show my work, you know, the work that I'm doing as an Indian yeah. in Afghanistan. But I am very, very disappointed. I'm very upset. I'm very um, horrified at the way people are being treated, including myself. We were not being treated as humans. We were made to stand for over 12 hours. We weren't fed. We weren't given water. And then when we called the police, they pacified a little. But then later on, when they brought us to the to the dining hall, which is so packed and that there is no, it's unhygienic and it's not clean and it's, it's terrible. And when I complain about that, they're telling me we have hundred ways to deal with people. So they basically wanted me to shut up or you know. The, the, basically, the organizers were acting like goons. They were like trying to you know, they were trying to like suppress me. And I find that very, very offending, and I find that violation of my human rights. And I'm going to fight it. I'm going to go back to the police. And I have, the police has already extended their support to me, and I will take this further. I'm very, very disappointed at the way this thing, this thing has been handled because I really want my money back. You know, $150 is not a small amount for me, it's a big amount. It, uh, I have to work hard for it. And um, yeah, I don't want them to, you know, flaunt, flaunt it, you know, like, or just, uh, you know, spend it on, you know, worthless things for themselves because that's what it looks like. Look for them, this looks like, to me, it looks like it's a money making machine for them, this conference. So. So have you ever attended any other World Youth I have, Conference? I have, I've been, no World Youth, I've attended international conferences, I've been to the uh, International Youth Leadership Conference, I've been to several model unit, UNs as a student, um, I have uh, attended, uh, well it didn't come at the top of my head, I've had organized several conferences in Afghanistan. Have you ever gotten any bad experience of uh, the other no, conferences? not really, not really, yeah. you know, it was, little inconvenience is understandable because you know conferences are a big deal to manage, having managed one myself, yeah. I know there are a lot of work, hard work and logistics and whatnot. so I understand a yeah. little bit, you know, right. but you know, outright uh, fraud is not mismanagement, it's blind to you people on their faces is not mismanagement, it's lying. So this is lying. This is not, you know, uh, this is not mismanagement. So are you going to stay back for the World Youth Conference again for the two days remaining? No, I won't. No, I won't. I'm going to try and get my money back and uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to go home as soon as I can so I can get to work and, you know, you know, do my thing, do things that's more productive than just be here and pretend to be, you know, uh, pretend to, you know, give them support because that's that's the last thing I want to do. Will you attend a, a fake organization like And this. will you attend any other conferences in India By in then, the near India, future? I will, of course. Yeah. yeah. India is my country. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of Indians. I'm so proud of the way the police helped out. You know, that shows how well our system and our democracy works. And I'm very happy with that. And uh, I will, of course, you know, this is my country. I will definitely attend.